Welcome back to another video. Today is Sunday. I'm about to head out to meet some friends for brunch. We're going to a place in Marlebone. One of the girls' boss at work um, recommended it to her. The food looks incredible. She sent us some pictures, so I'm really looking forward to that. But I don't have to leave for another 20 minutes, and I thought I would very quickly just show you my perfume collection. I mean, I have literally three perfumes. I actually thought I had four, but I've only got three. I don't know if this is a normal amount of perfumes that people have, but I always see like influencers online and stuff who are like, here's my perfume collection and they've got literally like 50 perfumes. So when I mentioned in my previous video, like, let me know if you want me to talk you through my perfumes, there's only three, but I will quickly do it just to show you what I like to wear. This first one, I'll just show you the Chloe one. This is looking a little bit scabby because this is actually real silver and it like tarnishes with oxidization or something. I'm not really 100% sure. This is a perfume that I think most people would say is like my scent. Um, I've been wearing this since I was like 18. This is such a like powdery, like blush, peony sort of smell. I think it's like, it smells so nostalgic to me. I love this perfume. It's like very, I feel like it's quite a classic perfume. And it's quite girly and powdery and quite fresh, but yeah, just like very, Kind of floral, actually. Next, we have the Erin one. This is Cedar Violet by Erin. This is one that my mum actually gave me. She's a bit of a perfume. I wouldn't say she's a perfume addict, but she's always picking up new perfumes and she loves to try new scents. It's very fresh. It smells actually, it doesn't smell like anything I can even describe. I wouldn't say it smells like violet or like lavender or anything like that. It's more like like very fresh, like springtime perfume. I often wear this one to work because it really lasts all day. Like when I spray it on myself, I can smell it pretty much for the whole day. Um, it's really fresh and just like, yeah, a springtime perfume. The Chloe one, by the way, doesn't last. I mean, I douse myself in it and I can, I can smell it for like most of the day and I always get like a bit of a whiff of it but it's not one that kind of like lingers very well. And then finally, I have my Diptyque Tam Dao um, perfume. And this one is just, the Diptyque perfumes just smell so expensive and nice. Like this one is also quite powdery. I'd say this one's more similar to the Chloe one and you have to smell it to know what it smells like. It's kind of, it's like powdery, also quite fresh, a bit of floral. I don't really know how they describe it, but it's really, really nice. And this one also lasts really long. I think these darker bottles tend to be like the stronger versions. And yeah, that's my three perfumes. So I kind of rotate between them all. This is like my standard one that I would wear most days, but I'm kind of running low. So I've kind of switched a little bit to wearing this more. This is like a nighttime one that I love to wear. And then this one's like a spring every day. I think this is the most expensive one. I don't know because I didn't buy it, but yeah, that's my three perfumes. Let me know what perfumes you like and if there's any you think that I should try because I'm always on the lookout for new beauty products or ways to spend money, really. <laughs> I also was going to do a little top up of my Jones Road on my cheeks. Um, the more that I use this product, the more that I actually use it as like a final layer, like a bit of a balm for cheeks. I feel like it's going to be so nice in summer. Um, I also watched a video the other day of a girl using a glossy Future Dew. And I was, I was literally thinking I need to like find that in my collection because I love that product. That And this kind of gives a similar vibe. So I just thought I would top up with a bit of this before I need to leave. Look at my nose. Um, that's me pretty much ready to go. I'm wearing my Hush cardigan, by the way. This is, I'm just ducking because the camera can't see me. This is from Hush from quite a long time ago. And the top is Uniqlo. No, it's not Uniqlo, it's cause just plain white tea. I've just got all my Levi jeans with it and my slippers that I need to change out of. But this is the look of the day. And my earrings are from H&M. I've had a lot of people ask me about where these are from. And I just tend to buy like earrings, unless they're like gold hoops where I have a couple of like solid gold pairs. I always get like statement earrings from H&M mostly. So yeah, I think I'm gonna put my shoes and coat and bag on now. I don't even know if I'll wear a coat actually. It's meant to be 20 degrees right now, but it doesn't feel it. Okay, fully ready to go. I thought I would very quickly just show you my bag. Um, this is from Mango, but it's like a perfect copy, I think, except for these bits, for the row. Um, oh God, I can't remember the name of it now, but it's just like a square bucket bag, basically. It's got like a fastening. I was really impressed with the quality because it's like suede lined 
and like it's proper leather. I think it was about hundred pounds though. Maybe it was a bit less, but it's the nicest cream bucket bag that I have ever seen. I love it. And I got it last year, Louisa Hyatt. I think that's how you pronounce her name. She is a creator from Edinburgh. I love her style. She just does like the nicest outfits. She is often sponsored by like Uniqlo and yeah, she's got a lot of the row pieces. And then she also loves the tabby shoes that from Mason Margiela that I'm, I love a little trotter, ta uh, a trotter shoe situation. So um, she recommended it on her stories. She's got the black version and I just thought it was the perfect size bag for spring. I mean, I don't have, I've got loads of black bags, but I don't have any cream bags. So I thought this would be a nice one. So I'm pretty much ready. I've got my sunnies and my shoes that I'm wearing are these like loafers from, they look very orange on camera. They're actually like proper tan. You know, they're not orange. I'm gonna take my little lip products. I'm still using and loving that little Clarins lip oil that I got. I think that was in like my first ever YouTube video. Not first ever, but the first one that I've done since making my debut back to YouTube. So yeah, I'm still loving that. Right, I'm gonna go now and head to the train. Also forgot to mention the Glossier You. This is also one of my favorite perfumes. I'm pretty much out of it now. This was in my bag, which is why I didn't see it, but absolutely gorgeous. It's so musky and like, it just smells good on everyone very musky very like masculine but sexy fragrance i love that and it's only like 40 pounds which is pretty good I've been back for a while from my brunch. It was really nice. We went to a Greek place called Oposo, Oposo in Marlebone and the food was really yummy. It was really expensive though. We ended up spending like way more than we expected, but we did have a couple of cocktails and then we walked around in the sun and like just wandered around Marlebone because it's such a nice little place. Um, and then I came back and I've sadly been doing work for most of the day because I've, it's just like that really busy time of year for us. So I've been, yeah, working for the past like three, four hours. Um, really stupidly, I sat in bed and did it. And now I just feel so groggy and gross. So it's about, it's about half eight now. And I've just made my sandwich for lunch tomorrow. I've just been getting ready basically for the week ahead. I've got a really busy one. And I'm just currently cooking myself some pesto pasta. I don't know if that's even focused, but I've got a little bowl of salad here. I've got some cheese that I've left out that I'm going to grate on top. But I'm going to mix in some spinach while it's cooking. And I thought I would just use up the rest of this. Oh, focus. Fiery chilli. Fiery chilli pesto. I thought it would just be a nice, quick and easy Sunday night dinner. Um, but yeah, I'm going to cook this now. And then I will chat to you guys in a bit because I'm going to take my makeup off. And show you my kind of like Sunday night little self-care routine i mean i'm basically gonna fake tan because i just feel like i need a little like spruce up for the week i've been using the bondi sands light tan and i think it's really really good i would like yeah i would recommend if you're pale just going for a pale fake tan i've never done that i've always gone for medium or dark i actually used the bondi sands ultra dark for a while and it was just the wrong shade so i'm gonna show that to you in a little bit but i'm gonna eat dinner first We are in my bathroom. I thought I would quickly take my makeup off for bed and kind of show you what I'm doing tonight to like settle down and chill out. I just watched Gog Box and ate that huge bowl of pasta and it was actually delicious. Um, I forget how simple pesto pasta is just like one of the best comfort meals ever and I actually grated quite a bit of cheese on top and it was just yummy. I'm feeling a little bit low today, this evening. I feel like I'm just like in a bit of a frump about my work week ahead and like just coming into spring and summer I'm like so looking forward to the brighter days but I feel like I'm just kind of 
I don't know, stuck in a bit of a rut and I just want to like get excited about the summer. But I thought I would do some fake tan and I thought we would just chat to you while I take my makeup off. So I'm going to start by taking my makeup off with Elements Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm. This is one of my favourites. You guys have heard me talk about this so much but it's just easy for melting makeup off the face and most mascaras come off easily with it so I love that. So I'm just rubbing this in all over. I can't tell you how good the past weekend has been. So my best friend was down visiting this weekend and we had such a nice time. She came down on Thursday night and I worked from home Thursday, Friday so I was like here to greet her sort of thing. Thursday night we went out to a really cute little wine bar in Balham and it was like the first day of it being properly sunny. We just sat and had a couple of glasses of wine um, and then on the way home we ordered a yard sale and picked it up. So it was like ready for us on our way back sort of thing. And that was so nice. We both had the new porker pizza, which was like incredible. The yard sale pizza is really, really good. And then, yeah, we did, we'd only had two glasses of wine that night, but then we had an early night. And then I worked all day Friday, which was fine. Um, it was really busy, so the day went really quickly. And then Friday night we went to Dishoom and it was so delicious. Like I'm obsessed with Dishoom. It was so yummy. We went to the Carnaby Street one, which was just like so busy and packed, but we got a table, because it was only two of us, it was actually not bad at all. If you ever walk past that restaurant on Carnaby Street and think, oh, the queue is massive. Like normally the bigger groups tend to take the long time to get served and the smaller tables of two, like they have a lot of them. So you're not really waiting for too long. And they served us a little chai tea while we were waiting in the queue and it was just really nice. Had a nice glass of wine and like, um, I just always get the Ruby Murray and it was so good. And then, or the chicken Ruby. <laughs> And then, what do we do on Saturday morning? Oh, Saturday morning we wandered around Clapham Common. We walked from Balham up to Clapham. And then we went for some brunch at a place called Cafe Tamra. So um, my friend is actually gluten-free and she, yeah, she can't eat anything with gluten. But Cafe Tamra had like good gluten-free options. And so did Dishoom, by the way, in case anyone has any gluten-free friends or family and they're in London and yeah, need places to eat. Dishoom actually gave us a full, gluten-free menu for her which was really good and there was quite a few things she could eat on it so it was good and yeah we just had a really nice brunch at Cafe Tamra and then we like sat in the sun for a bit and then she went home yesterday like later in the evening and what did I do oh I edited the vlog that you would have seen this morning um no it would have been on Sunday for you guys but today's Sunday for me so yeah so I edited the vlog and then this morning obviously you saw I went out for an amazing brunch in Marylebone and it was just so nice. I really honestly feel it's been such a lovely girly few days for me. Um, and yeah, it's been so lovely. So I'm feeling like my cup is full. It's been really good. Um, but yeah, I just need to get myself out of this rut. I've actually booked a spin class with one of my friends on Wednesday night this week and, no, not Wednesday night, on Tuesday night this week. And that's gonna be really good because I feel like it'll just spring me back into action whilst also having like a nice catch up with a friend so i'm looking forward to the week but i've just got so much work it's gonna be chaos but it's fine it's all kind of dying down a little bit but it's like you know when things are just being finalized and then like yeah stuff comes out of nowhere and you're just trying to juggle a lot so it's fine everybody goes through spells a bit don't they okay so i finished taking that off i just wanted to quickly show you this is the bondi sands that i use it's in the light medium and for i was saying earlier for years and years of my life i was using the dark or the medium dark or the dark dark tan and it just looked ridiculous like the streaks were so orange and this is just such a nice lighter glow and it's really lovely so i'm going to do this i feel like it's going to really help bring me back to life for the week and just like start the week off right i also i'm going to wash my hair and blow dry it tonight so that i don't have to do it first thing on monday morning and i can wear it in like a nice wave and it not be too much of a faff so I'm going to hop in the shower now and I will chat to you when I'm finished. Okay, I'm just at the shower and I have fake tanned. I was at that point where I was like, I'm not going to do it. I can't be bothered. Like, I want to moisturise my skin and just go to bed. And then I thought, no, you need to do this. You're going to feel so good tomorrow. Like, when I wake up and I'm all brown, I'm going to feel amazing. <laughs> I don't know why, but I will. So I thought, yeah, let me just do it. And I've done it. And this is the kind of colour... Obviously that's just the guide colour, but I don't really have anything to compare it to because I did both hands, but it's just a really natural glow. I obviously didn't put any on my face because I'm going to do some skincare. 
But yeah, that is the kind of the color and it's great. I feel like I'm gonna be a new woman tomorrow. I wanted to quickly show you a shower gel that I'm obsessed with and you probably saw it in my gift guide if you've been around since Vlogmas that I did. Um, no, it wasn't in my gift guide. It was in what I got for Christmas because Matt actually picked this up for me from Heckles from when we went to Margate. I vlogged Margate, I think I mentioned it before, but there's a video on Margate. They have this really cool brand called Heckles. You've probably heard of it. Um, all the products are made in Margate and this body wash has brought me so much joy. This towel's falling off my head, which is why I'm like holding on to it. But you know these kind of sh these shower gels that kind of like the smell fills up the whole shower and it gets into the steam and it just feels so relaxing and calm. This was quite expensive. I think it was like thirty five pounds or something. But it's such a huge bottle. It's lasted us since Christmas and we both use it and it just is the nicest smelling product ever. I'm gonna re repurchase it. They also do like body creams and shampoos, conditioners, like body washes. I really, really love their products. I think they might do candles as well. I might when we eventually move into a new home and um, pick up some nice Aesop hand wash and some nice new, I'll get a refill of this anyway, but I'll get treat myself to some nice products. So most days I've been using this retinol by La Roche-Posay. I'm sure you've seen it before. I'm sure you've seen me putting this on before, but it's a really good retinol. It's nice and soft on the skin, it's nothing too stripping or like you don't feel like your skin needs to purge or whatever they say retinols normally do but you really do see results like I think this is a really good non-abrasive nice to your skin retinol so would highly recommend but I'm not going to put this on today because I've been in the sun a bit over the last few days I have been wearing SPF but I just want to give my skin a bit of a hydration instead so I thought I would go to my trusty Estee Lauder advanced night repair this is such a good serum it's just so hydrating I'm really like running out of it just honestly put this on and it really does like it does something I don't know what it does but it gives your skin like the most hydrated I'm gonna have to get my fingers in I'm kind of god it's so expensive to replace I think it's like 70 pounds for a bottle of this size normally me and my sister get this for Christmas part of a Christmas present for my mum but it's just the nicest serum and it really feels so hydrating your skin like drinks it up okay now I'm gonna go in that you've seen this a million times my Kiehl's creamy eye treatment which is like an avocado green sort of eye eye cream um, and I'm just gonna put this okay my camera just died as I was rubbing that eye cream into my eyes um, I'm now gonna go in with some of the Kiehl's ultra facial cream my favorite and i'm just gonna like lather this on i've seen a lot of people doing that whole slugging thing online and i would love to try it but i just don't think i've got the stomach for like rubbing vaseline over my face and leaving it there i was always one of those kids where when my mom was putting like sun cream on me i would like kind of run away and hated it um i don't know how i would do with vaseline all over my face but maybe they will like will lead a squid skin food or something. Maybe I'll try on doing some sort of um, slugging. Sounds weird to say. Also, people use that snail treat, the snail goo, which looks incredible. I always see that on other apps. How my hair is pulling out from this bloody towel. That's me all done. I am now gonna go and blow dry my hair and get cozy and have an early-ish night. It's like almost 10 o'clock. I think it's past 10 o'clock actually. So it's not that early, but I just want to say thank you so much. Like I feel like recently just all the comments and subscribers, it's just been so lovely. I feel like I get so much happiness from making my videos and just like interacting with everyone. So yeah, it's been really good. Thank you if you've made it this far in the video. I feel like it's not been too much of a long one, although I've not edited any of it yet. So let's see. Um, and I will be back on Sunday with another video for you guys. So I'll see you then. Bye.